I'm Will Murphy from WRM Agri uh, Limited. We're based in North Essex. Uh, we're a small contracting company specialising in straw baling, uh, predominantly supplying straw to local power stations. We've been operating for seven years now uh, and we cover around about 11,000 11, acres uh, within a 10 to 12 mile radius of our yard uh, in Topsfield. Uh, we run two chrome balers, uh, a HDP1 Gen 5 uh, and an HDP2 8 string baler. We've been operating chrome balers uh, for seven years and uh, we started with a 1290 high speed uh, in the first year uh, and then we moved to a, a 1290 HDP1 alongside the 1290 high speed. We wanted more output and more productivity, we wanted to be able to get more done in a day with one machine uh, and that really prompted the purchase of the HDP2, the 8 string baler. Um, the productivity is unrivaled really, uh, there's no other machine out there that will do as many bales in a day uh, and cover as much area in a day. It's got some cracking features, uh, the, the forward speed is uh, well above any other machine on the market. Uh, the other reason for choosing uh, the HDP2 uh, was, was the bale weight. Uh, we can consistently uh, achieve 550 kilos of bale, uh, which is maximising the payload of a, a, a lorry taking straw into the power station. We do see a massive rise in productivity compared to other brands on the market, uh, predominantly because there is no shear bolt in a chrome baler. Um, if you're unfortunate enough to block the baler by feeding it too much, too hard with, with straw. Um, there's a dog clutch in the front uh, on the pickup uh, and that will in, the, the dog clutch will, will disengage uh, and then it's as simple as dropping the revs on the machine and the blockage is cleared and you're away again. Uh, that potentially saves us 20 minutes per blockage uh, which in a, in a bad day could cost you hours uh, on a competitor's machine. Our other machine, uh, the HDP uh, Gen 5 baler, that was a pretty simple choice to choose that machine really. We had it on demonstration uh, two years ago and the, the features on that machine are incredible. Uh, it's spotlessly clean every time you go to it. The new fan system on the top uh, above the Notter stack uh, blows air right through, fresh air right through the machine. Uh, there's no ledges and sharp edges for, for straw and, and crop to build up on which means that the operator can, can remain clean and, and sort of dust free when, when they're making any uh, adjustments to knotters or going out to check any, any components of the baler. There's a range of other features on the machine. The hydraulic sides uh, in particular are a great feature. Uh, they allow the operator to open the sides of the baler hydraulically uh, and, and get great access to the, to the middle of the machine for blowing down or for, for checking anything on the machine. Uh, also for, for filling up the baler with string. Uh, you don't have to reach up high to restring the baler. The, stream, the string boxes uh, remain clean and free of dust uh, and it's very easy to fill up with string of a morning. Um, so all those things help really. We chose Crone initially um, because I was lucky enough to, to visit the factory in Speller um, and that really swayed my decision to choose, choose Crone initially. Um, the factory was incredible, I was very impressed. It's nice to work with a family business. Um, the parts supply is fantastic. Uh, if we do uh, have any, any part that, that we need to replace that's broken, uh, if it's not at our local dealers in Cambridge, uh, it can be sent on an over, overnight courier uh, so we can get parts very quickly indeed, which is, is great really. Our local dealer is uh, Mark Weatherhead in Hardwick, just outside Cambridge. Uh, we purchased, we've purchased two balers from them now, um, they're a great dealer, uh, again lovely local family business. Um, the backup they provide is just second to none. Uh, Charlie Bowers is the, the, the crone engineer there, uh, he's fantastic and he's usually here within an hour if we need him on the odd occasion that we do need him to come and have a look. Um, yeah, they, they can't be faulted.